Good morning. Maya Bay are back. Here's the plan. There are going to be five completely new things on the site today. Five might be a slight exaggeration. None is probably closer to the truth. Although, there is a chance, just a chance, there is something completely new today. We may be getting a visit from a company who we have now done a deal with for solar hot water. It's not by any means confirmed, but they may be coming later today. And in the battle of herbs versus herbs, Capon has fired the first shot. And incredibly annoyingly, from my exhaustive research of two websites, it looks as though he's right. Anyway, more of that to come. What could possibly go wrong? I'm standing just outside the back of the house and you can almost certainly hear the grinding of tiles going on inside. So, fair warning, this is probably gonna be noisy. On my way, heading upstairs, happened to look out the front window, and here we have Rico, not Charles Hill's cat, doing a bit of gardening. Well, not really gardening, bit of tidy up. In fact, a couple of guys are working on that right now. Got original Rico over there doing the same thing. Let's start in Aldrian's room. George's room. Oh, there we go. The noise begins. I'm in Jack's bedroom and the topping has been done in the walk-in closet. In Sabrina's bathroom, uh, I was pondering yesterday whether they would put a single coat of waterproofing or more. It will be three coats as they have in, I think, pretty much any other area, including the swimming pool that has been waterproofed. Three coats. This is Alex's bathroom and I can't get in, but clearly there are tiles being put in place on the inside above this door. I'll have to look later and see how much progress they've made all together. In the master bathroom, more and more tiling going up. Still only working on the one wall at the moment, but it's early. I would guess that most of the tiles now, apart from that top level, are just standard fit, no cutting required. So I would think this will probably get finished today, and then they'll be moving on to other walls, probably within today. Inside Alex's bathroom, Bit of measuring, bit of mixing going on, uh, working on the far wall. Last night we looked at this and I didn't know if it was a result of an accident after the people walking under ladders. It wasn't an accident. Uh, they had to relocate an outlet inside the room here, which is uh, George's room. So they had to dig out on this side a little bit as well. We're inside the pantry. I haven't been in here for a long time. Herwin, with an H, is doing mud and tape in here. So, herbs. Capon has said it's from the French, which I've looked up on two websites, ironically one of which was the Sydney Morning Herald in Australia, which does confirm that. I did look at another one called the Squid something or other, who added to the fact that it was only in the, somewhere in the mid 19th century that the English English people actually started adding the H to make it herbs. But he does conclude by saying it is simply a fact that America has not yet anglicized the word herbs, which we all know is the right way to say it. Come on. Anyway, herbs versus herbs. What else have you got? Anything else? 
It's about 11 o'clock and you can probably make out a couple of people up on the roof over the gym and there are a couple more up on the top roof. So the hot water. This is their truck. So here you can see the logo on the door. Uh, the company is Solar Thermo Tank Asia. We did talk to a number of others. Um, we got sort of close with one other that I know somebody nearby here has used. In the end, we rejected that company on two grounds. Number one, their payment terms were unreasonable. Uh, effectively, we would have been paying 95% without even having an installation date confirmed. And number two, their responsiveness was horrible. Uh, just such long delays in between any inquiries. And if you have seen me uh, earlier on in the process when we talked about the main solar heater uh, installation and air cons and other things, you'll know that I'm not good with unresponsive people. So that pretty much on its own ruled them out. But these guys were responsive. So we'll try and take a bit of a closer look at what they're going to be doing for us. This part of the installation is the only part that I can get to without wandering over there and climbing up a ladder, which I'm absolutely 100% not going to be doing. So the system they're putting in, I do have certain concerns with it. Um, fundamentally, they'll be putting two 400 litre tanks up on the main roof. And the idea is that that uh, gets heated by the sun through a coil system, and then that feeds the hot water throughout the house. It's not what I would think of as a complete system, because at the moment, it doesn't include an additional uh, electric grid or solar power backup. So that's something we're gonna have to add. The other concern I've got is the system retire, relies on gravity to feed the water into the house. Uh, there is no additional pump for that hot water. And I honestly don't know what that's gonna mean in terms of water pressure. It, I mean, basically it means it's gonna be relying on pumps elsewhere in the house. And I don't know if that's enough. So that's something we may have to look at as well. But the other issue for us is that we can't really properly test any of this at the moment because we don't have sinks and taps and everything else required to actually just go and switch it on and see what happens. That is something they will have to come back and do at a later date. But this is the company we've gone with. We'll try and get the drone up on the roof. This gentleman's just poked his head over there and see if we can get a slightly better look at what exactly they're doing. But right now, assembling the frames for the panels that will go up on the main roof, and then we'll see if we can see any more of the process later in the day. Their expectation is they'll be done within one to two days and then come back at a later point to retest everything but that's what we've got uh, if you've got any knowledge of solar hot water uh, and any thoughts on whether having no additional pump is going to be an issue or anything else about solar hot water supply let me know it is pretty cloudy uh, it has been for several days so i'm not sure whether even if they had all this installed whether we would get hot water into that tank uh, in the short term. All of this is new to me. Anybody with experience, give me some thoughts. But we're on our way with solar hot water. Right, there is very little I can tell you about this process. Practically nothing would be a more honest answer. Totally nothing would be even closer. Uh, so, all we've got at the moment is a couple of guys from 
the supplier up on the roof with our electrician just checking out exactly where this is all going to go and I'll leave them to get on with that just for a few seconds sorry about the really dubious drone control I'm very out of practice And back at the guys over the gym, just working on that frame. Herwin is now in the sunroom. I think that's what we're calling it now. Mud and taping in here, so presumably pantry was finished. Melvin is doing the same thing in the gym. He's actually done a fair bit in here. That's the first time I've noticed any activity here. Inside the master bathroom, this wall is approaching completion as far as tiling is concerned up to height. So they're getting ready to go around the corner. In Alex's bathroom, we have got three walls now with tiles, just this last one in front of us to go. Just been a little bit of cleanup going on with the niche before they start putting those tiles in there. It's a bit crowded in here, so I can't go inside. So we're gonna have to live with the rather bright sunlight coming in from outside, as often is the case. But here in George's bathroom, we've got quite a bit of progress. So this right wall now has two uh, levels of the tiles, which matches the other two walls. The one over my shoulder, just inside the door on the left, not started yet. And as always, when they put the tiles in, the spaces go in, but they don't stay in for too long. The solar hot water boys, they're all on the roof, around the main roof, so nothing to show you here. We'll get the drone up again. Something we haven't seen for a while. Oliver's getting back to work on the second septic tank. It's just after 4.30, the bell has gone, the day is done. The guys, at least some of them, are having a little tiny celebration drink. Inside here, 
we have got more mud and tape done around the sunroom area and I'm just going to wander over to the gym and we'll have a look inside there. So, more done in here, certainly not finished, all the way down towards the spa end, still needs quite a lot of work. Meanwhile, we have the frog patrol trying to fish out a frog from inside the pool. Two frogs, apparently. In the master bathroom, one wall of tiling, minus grout, done. It's going to get a bit bright over here, but all this side was done earlier. The right side we just looked at, now finished. Inside Alex's bathroom, we've just got this wall in front here, still to be done. As with all the other bathrooms at the moment, nothing done low down. That's where that waterproofing will be done first. I'm not sure if it goes that high up, but there will be waterproofing done before they put those bottom tiles in. Inside George's bathroom, more of the tiling done on this wall on the right. And then a reasonable amount of height on two of the walls. The wall just to the left uh, is not done yet. That's it, the end of the day. Just before this, hopefully, there was some more footage of the solar hot water system, which they have finished installing. Uh, they finished around about three o'clock, actually. Ever since then, I've been trying to get the drone to decide to fly again. It's deciding at the moment it doesn't want to. Uh, it's been either uploading new software or not uploading it properly and then just going completely on strike with a bit of luck before this you will have seen a little bit more of what it looks like sorry there's very little i can tell you about that system as you've seen already um, at some point i'll try and get a little bit more information about it and i will uh, when we've finalized the system in terms of any additional electric water heating i will tell you the cost uh, just not yet Okay, that's it. Oh, Sabrina's just wandering inside to have a look at her room again. That's the end of the day. Not quite the end of the work week. It's Friday, so there's one more day to go. We'll see you tomorrow.